Good morning children. Today our topic is fun with magnets. So what is a magnet? You all might be playing with a magnet. It attracts the metal things especially iron. We use magnets, right? So magnets are used to attract the pins, attract the nails, attract the nuts and bolts. Okay. So where do you get these magnets? Just if you look around in your house, at which places you find the magnet? So magnets are used in different items for the purpose of sticking them to the metal objects. If you see your almira or refrigerator, you will be finding the stickers that are stuck to the fridge door or almira door by a little magnet. You can take it out, again you can place it back. If you observe the sticker on its back side, there you will find a little magnet. If you go to your office or a bank, there you will see the clerk will be having a pin holder. In the pin holder, there will be so many pins which are attached to the pole of the pin holder. Even though he takes the pin holder and keeps it upside down, no pin falls down. They are sticking to the magnet part of the pin holder. So by that, the pins are not easily falling off. So by that, the person can easily pick one pin at a time. So that is the application of the magnet. And you see that if you go to any river bank, you can find that there in the river, people usually throw coins. It's an auspicious thing. They believe in throwing coins. So some of the boys, you can find that there they will tie a magnet to a thread, they will put it in the bank of the river. So it will attract the coins, they pull out and they take the coins. Because coins, certain coins are made out of steel, steel is also having the property of attracting to magnet. So likewise, we find so many applications, right? Even you see in your pencil box, some of the pencil boxes will be having a magnetic attachment. Even for your mother's wallet or the handbag, the whatever the zipper and the cover, the cover will be having a magnetic button so by that it will stick and it keeps tightly. So likewise, in many of the places, the magnets are used. Okay. So large sized magnets are used by magnetic crane, which is used to remove the metallic junk from the scrap. See here, there is a pile of scrap. So all over this is junk. So among this junk, among this heap of junk, there will be so many metal items as a scrap. To separate them, they use a huge crane. Which is fixed to a magnet, a very big magnet. So this magnet, if it is kept or released over this heap, it will attract all the junk and metal scrap, the parts of the vehicles, iron items, metal items, cans, tins, all these are attracted by this magnet. So this is one of the application of a magnet. Okay. So likewise, we found plenty of applications of magnets in our day-to-day -day life. But how these magnets are made? From where do we get these magnets? So now let us see how magnets were discovered, right? How magnets were discovered? That means it, the statement it shows that they were discovered, they were found. That means they were already there existing. So magnets basically two types natural, artificial, that means man-made. So naturally some magnets were there that were found by some person. So what was that story? So that was Magnus, a shepherd in Greece, a Greek shepherd. He was taking care of his sheep, taking the sheep for grazing. And the mountain side, it was a rocky mountain. So he was climbing the rocky mountain 
and he was controlling the sheep with the help of a long stick. So he used to carry a stick all the time with him to control the ship and the stick also helps him to climb the mountains while getting down the mountains that is for a support. So for his stick at the end of his stick if this is the stick at the end he has got a metal wrapping an iron wrapping iron cap. So end of the his stick has got an iron cap. So when he was taking his sheep towards that mountain on one day suddenly his stick has got stuck to a rock. It got fixed to the rock and he felt it is so hard to pull the stick. Right. So there is no gum. There is no gumming material just the stick was pulled by the rock and stuck to the rock. He felt so hard to separate them. So by that incident that fellow Magnus he found a natural rock which acts like a magnet. So such kind of rocks the rocks that have the property of attracting iron items metal items were called as magnetite that time magnetite. So actually this name magnetite has come from the person Magnus. Some people believe that it was happened in a place called Magnesia. So that is why this magna has come but the fact is unknown whether that is the name of the person or the place but somehow the rock has got the name magnetite which generally contains iron. It was a natural magnet. No one made that just it was existing in the nature. It was made by the nature because of uh, some atmospheric conditions the rocks may undergo certain changes. So likewise those rocks were undergone certain kind of changes and that was the natural magnet found over there magnetite iron contains some iron. So this magnetite it, it was considered as the natural magnet later people use it to collect such kind of stones that have the magnetic property and used as a magnets. Later on in the modern era people started making their own magnets with the help of iron. So iron is used to make artificial magnet. The magnets are made in different shapes. Artificial magnets are available in different shapes. Disc shape, bar magnet, circular magnet, horse shoe shape magnet like this. Likewise we find different shaped magnets, bar magnets, disc magnet, horseshoe shape, circular likewise. So the magnets they have got so many applications already we have. So already we have seen the applications of magnets. Here we are just looking at the types of magnets and how they were discovered. There are two types of magnets natural and artificial. Artificial magnets can be any of the shape. Cylindrical magnets are also available and dumbbell shaped magnets are also available likewise so many magnets are there. So you can play with magnets you can have fun with magnets so whether you can understand the property of magnet very well. Here there is one activity suggested in your textbook to do with for this activity you need a simple stand over here and uh, take a clamp take a paper cup put some magnet in this and cover with paper. So no one is able to see where is the magnet. Now here the task is at the base of the stand take a thread fix a thread here and at the end of the thread you keep a pin. You keep a pin. Now you see that the pin is standing against the gravity. Actually if this is the thread and this is the pin the pin should fall down. But the pin is standing straight without any support that means it is being pulled by the magnet which is kept inside the cup. Due to the influence magnetic influence magnetic pull of the cup the pin is standing. So this is an activity so you can amaze your friends by doing this but you should take care that you should have a proper magnet you should maintain proper distance between the pin and the cup if the distance is too high the pin may not stand right. So take proper care and do this activity and have fun. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up.
Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.